Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to consolidate values in Excel. This is especially useful when you have a spreadsheet where you have a number of columns and you want to have a header that goes across a number of those columns or a number of rows. So I've got a spreadsheet here. It's just a made up um, sales list from an imaginary business. And here we have um, three columns. We got chickens, ducks, and pigeons. And we have three other columns, cows, pigs, and sheep. And what we want to do is we want to have this poultry label go across these three columns and the livestock value go across three, these three columns. So the key is in uh, first select the, the first one with the text is and then the other two and then go up and find the merge function. It may be in a different place on your computer depending on your computer and your op operating system but it's always called merge and we'll just click merge and there we have it. It, it combined all those three cells into one with the text um, consisting of the one that was on the left. Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here, but first I'm going to just say, what, what if we already had you know, some, some text in these two columns? Uh, what, what would happen? So we're going to select all three of those, and we'll do the same thing. We'll say Merge. And you can see it gives you a, a message. It says the selection contains multiple data values. It, it's, a, um, it's preventing you from inadvertently writing over some text you didn't want to write over. But we're fine. We know that the value on the left, uh, which uh, is the same as the other two, is the one we want. We say OK, and it does, it, it does the same thing. It makes a new um, text field that goes over all three columns. We can do the same thing on the rows. Over here, we want to combine this title for the first quarter into go, going across all of these rows. It just makes for a nicer looking table. We click on Merge, and there it is. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to consolidate values in Excel. Thanks for watching.